Well, I've never taken you along on a journey of what I've, a few things I've got to do during the day, so why don't we do that now? Come on along and... Watch how I get out of my van, like an old bear, back out. So, I just back right out. Going out forward is not as easy as you think. You gotta bend over, hold on to something, step down, out you go. But, when you back out, it's a little easier. Here we are, still parked at Walmart. And right across the way here, right behind me, is Canadian Tire, so we're right close. So yesterday, I didn't film it at all, but I put this um, access thing here. I'll show you. This little lid here. Every time they filled propane on my tank, on my underneath tank they would say they can't get at it they can get at the valves and what have you in there but this thing was always in the way uh, they couldn't fit it underneath there for some reason so I built a little door they could lift up give them a little bit of extra room and then uh, while I was at it I uh, I did some rearranging down in here, cleaned it up, cleaned up the overhead a little bit, which I had put a door on. Uh, maybe I'll show you that here right away too. I had a door that, uh, sorry about the mess, and we'll clean that up. But anyways, I had a door that went across the bathroom there. And then I always had it open. So it was flopping and making a noise. And uh, this is it. I put it up here. I just cut it down to size and hung it up there. Now I've, it keeps everything from falling out from up, up above, over my head there. Uh, not that anything did fall out of there, but at least this seals it off a little better, makes it look a little nicer. And I have a mirror on there. So that's what we got with that. Other than that, we're going to have to clean up a little bit in here now, or from there back. But underneath the bed, I've cleaned up underneath there. Um, made the storage a little better. My bed has got this foam sandwich stuff underneath there. I don't really need it like that, but uh, when you're parked at the curb, you have a tendency to roll. Uh, it, it, it leans this way towards me, the van, so you'd always sort of fall out of bed. So that's why the foam is like, like it is. It keeps me from rolling out of bed at night. And uh, I guess I don't really need it that high and that I, I should cover it up so it doesn't look the way it does. Anyways, we're, we're off to do some shopping. I have some paracord to pick up at the, uh, where I get my mail sent and we'll go pick that up. Okay guys, what I did was took the top one out. Here it is here, and I put the new one in. It was pretty easy. I had to take these bolts out here. Uh, there's two bolts, this one here and this one up here, just to get this pin out, because it wouldn't go up high enough. It would hit against there. The bottom one looks like it can go up, <clears throat> but I can't get it. I can't seem to get it out very well. So I might just take the bolts off. Okay guys, I took the spring or the hinge right out. And here it is, one half of it. And you can see the bushings 
on the top there are completely shot. So this is why I'm having problems with alignment. But I had to take the whole thing, that's one half, and here is the other half. This is just the half of the holes. The bushings go in the other piece there. But that just shows you these bushings are so shot that it will not hold anymore. I don't, this camera won't do this any justice. But that's it there. All right, in Vancouver here, I see this old truck, 1930s truck with a tiny house in the back. I didn't meet the owner, but uh, I don't think he was in it at the time. We're parked outside the Walmart on the side street, and I just bumped into this little tiny house on the back of an old beat up truck. Looks cool. And then I had breakfast at Bonds off Broadway. This is a cafe or restaurant where they encourage graffiti. And the graffiti is actually everywhere. And I mean everywhere. Here's a shot of the men's washroom. There's graffiti on every single thing except the toilet. Uh, the mirror is covered with graffiti. You can't hardly see yourself in it. At one point in time, I had a mouse in my van. Caught him, killed him, and there he is. He actually ran on the counter and sat on my uh, my mouse. So I thought a mouse on a mouse would be cool. Please subscribe, comment, ring the bell.